Philippines president has said Philippines military officials consulted India on the Brahmos air launched missiles that were used in strikes on 12 Pakistani air bases US president Donald Trump has said that India is very close to China in Russian oil purchases and will face 50% tariffs and he also warned of more secondary sanctions in a major achievement by the Trump administration, Switzerland is considering to cancel its $9 billion deal to buy around 36 F-35 fighter jets from the US, following the steep tariffs imposed by President Trump. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met with Russian Security Council Secretary, followed by a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Kremlin. India has initiated talks with Russia for the 400 km range R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile, and 190 km R-77M beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile for Indian Air Force's Su-30. Armenia is exploring the purchase of 12 Su-30 fighter jets from India, equipped with Brahmos Rudram and Astra series missiles. Bangalore-based SSS Defense has launched a new indigenous Raptor assault rifle for the Special Forces. NSG is all set to order indigenous Ugram assault rifles in limited numbers. L&T Precision Engineering has signed a strategic agreement with Delhi-based startup Green Aero Propulsion to co-develop micro-turbojet engines to power high-speed drones. The Indian Air Force has issued an OTAM warning, preserving airspace near the southern section of the India-Pakistan border for an exercise scheduled on 12th to 13th of August 2025. The Indian Army will place a follow-on order for 50 light strike vehicles from Force Motors. Rolls-Royce is exploring setting up a maintenance repair and overhaul facility in India for the AE2100 engine, that powers the 11C130J Super Hercules aircraft of the Indian Air Force. India has set up a 1-meter hypersonic wind tunnel and scramjet connected pipe mode test facility at the RDO Center for Advanced Systems in Hyderabad, that will aid the development of hypersonic cruise missile. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment is working on a 300 km range air-launched Pinaka system. The Defense Acquisition Council has cleared 110 Brahmos air-launched supersonic cruise missiles and 87 male drones under a $7.64 billion defense procurement plan. The DRDO has begun work on a 2D thrust vectoring nozzle for the Gartuk Stealth UCAF to boost agility and stealth, that is scheduled for rollout in 2026. The detailed blueprint shows movable flaps actuators cooling systems and a modular design for the dry cavalry engine. This technology will enable super maneuverability super cruise and evasive moves against enemy air defense systems. India is building a microwave radar absorbing material test facility to support the AMCA stealth fighter program. The site will measure and validate radar absorbing coatings and composites, targeting high absorption in X and Q bands to cut radar cross section. The facility will test advanced carbon based and composite materials focusing on durability weight and broadband stealth performance, that will ensure that AMCA materials meet stringent survivability standards against modern radar systems. Officials have said, that the US tariff threats will not derail the recently signed F-414 engine manufacturing license agreement between Hindustan Aeronautics and General Electric. Negotiations for the manufacturing license agreement were rigorous, involving detailed pricing discussions, technical evaluations, and scrutiny of the 80% technology transfer scope. HAL is planning a new dedicated manufacturing facility near Bangalore, with production expected to start by 2027, and initial engine deliveries by mid-2028. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.